Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo Technical Developer. For today our topic is Profiling Odoo Code. For example, you have a developed a custom module and you have a method inside that module which is taking longer, which is taking longer time than expected and you don't know that which part of the method is uh, affecting this performance, uh, then you can use profiling tool in Odoo. Uh, which is re really useful and helpful to understand and optimize your method. There are uh, two methods to profile your course. First one is uh, using the graph method, and the next method, uh, and the second way is to log your time in the logs. So uh, I will explain this second method, and I will just uh, show you how you can log your uh, method time in the logs file. And uh, this method uh, you can use on the Ubuntu as I am currently using Windows, uh, therefore I cannot uh, generate this file and can generate the graph. Uh, but I will show the second method. It is really simple. Uh, this uh, profiler is used uh, to generate a graph. So uh, if you uh, use it this way, then it will uh, then it will generate a graph for you, and the graph will show number of queries percentage of time taken uh, in the method itself as well as the time that the method took and its sub methods so it will uh, contain all the information and it will generate the graph on the basis of those uh, information so uh, what you will have to do first of all you will have to import this uh, um, you will have to import this package and then on and then uh, for the method you will have to add this line profile at the rate profile and then inside the profile you will have to add the file path uh, and it will generate a file with the name of proof dot profile and this uh, produces a file called temp uh, dot temp slash proof dot profile and you can use this tool to produce a graph and also you can use this tool uh, to generate the graph so the second method is log a method. Uh, another profiler can be used to log statistics of the method in the logs. Uh, so for this purpose, uh, first of all, you will have to import the same uh, package as we have uh, done before, and then you will have to add this one. Still, there are two ways uh, to do this. If you just want to, um, if you just want to analyze your custom method, then you will have to use uh, at the rate profile. But if you want to analyze all the methods, uh, like its sub methods that has been called at the backend, like the Udo default method, then you can use profile and then breakers. So let me just show you how you can do it. For example, let me just uh, so let me just show you the module. For example, we have Open Academy module that we have already developed, and in the sessions uh, model. We have a button to send the emails to multiple uh, attendees. So here this method. So we want to analyze this um, method that which uh, line is taking more time and to optimize it. So for this purpose, let me go to uh, models and then open academy.py file and then uh, open academy.session model. So here let me just uh, check the method here like which one it is uh, this is the method action send email so let me first import uh, the package like this and then on the method i will have to eat uh, here it is like this one yeah at the rate profile like this so let me just move the brackets first and then let me restart Odoo service. So once this method is completely executed, that at the end it will lock uh, the time for uh, the time, the number of queries uh, for each line. So let me just go here and then click this button. So this button will uh, take some time. So this method will take some time to execute, and uh, it will send the email to each attendee that is uh, the part of this session. And after a uh, successful execution, it will log the analysis of the method in the log file. So this is the logs that are generating currently. So we will just wait a bit to uh, execute this method successfully and then we will see the result. 
so here the method has been executed successfully and here you can see three columns calls queries and then milliseconds times taken by the method so the total time taken by the method is 30,838 milliseconds and this is the analysis of each line this line took uh, this much milliseconds this line took this much so this is the line which is taking longer time and this is the Udo default method what why it is taking long, longer time because it is sending the email it is generating the email it is generating the PDF for each email so therefore uh, it is taking longer time in order to optimize this method so let me just uh, do one thing so uh, currently we were we are sending and creating an email for each attendee separately and we can well, do one more thing in order to resolve this issue uh, so for example if we do it like this and then uh, make this uh, self dot attendee ids dot mapped if you don't know about the mapped method you can just search about it and you will understand it so it will create a list of emails of all the attendees and here uh, uh, we are mentioning the name of each attendee but i will pass it as empty because we don't want to uh, we don't need it because uh, we just want to optimize this method so currently it took a total of 30,000 milliseconds so let me just restart the service now sorry let me just restart uh, Udo service and then let me see how much time does it takes again so let me click here and then let me check the logs so it is so here you can see the method has been optimized now and it is taking only 4600 milliseconds before it was taking 30,000 milliseconds so this is a lot of improvements that has been added but we have uh, compromised some of the functionality and uh, like we don't want to mention the name of the attendee in each email but if you want to generate just a single email and send it to all the attendees so this is how you can uh, uh, analyze your code if you want to analyze all its sub methods then you just need to add the brackets and then restart Udo service and uh, then let me just uh, check it again and click this button so here you will be able to see the analysis of all its sub methods that has been called behind this so these are all the method tests has been called so it will show you the file and the line number where it is defined and here in this way you can analyze the code and the problem where it is taking more time so thank you guys for watching this video if you are new to our channel and uh, you don't uh, know about Udo too much then you can uh, join our Udo technical course on our youtube channel and uh, you you must need to subscribe to our channel so that uh, you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you